I just fix a recycled aquatic system into this beautiful fan. If you have watched my previous videos, you will notice that I use metal frame where it is built by welders and I just erect it, put it on the ground with concrete, extend it into the pond. This see how the fish are enjoying the system. This has been tedious and costly and I have discovered a new and a beautiful way of doing it with lesser cost. Yes, that's how the work is. You learn and you implement and try several options and see how it is working. Now this is very simple and easy. I can easily take, pick up this and put it in other ponds. In this farm, we are trying to see where we can collect that same system into one filtration. Then they will all be filtered at the same time. I have received several videos where people are asking, can you put the filter system into more than one pond? And I usually say yes and no. If I say yes and no, I am not contradicting myself. Yes and no, the answer is that no because usually we connect it to one. And when you connect it to one, that's how it is very effective and it filters everything. But when you connect it with one pond, the consequences is that it will not be effective and also if there's disease outbreak in one pond, it's going to spread among all the ponds since they are all connected into one system. So in order to avoid that, if each system has its own system, if each pond has its own system, then they will not have issue of disease being transferred to other ponds. But this system, that's what, how we are, going, we are trying to do. But we use a big PVC pipe, that's 2 inch, and we connect it at the end. I'll show you soon. And then all these ponds are connected to that one. So for now, this is what we are filtering. So once it's filtered for some time, we want to move this thing into another pond and we'll see how it will go. We can also get a bigger filtration container and connect all of them to that place and it will filter. But like I said, if the disease outbreak, it's going to affect all the ponds and you are going to probably have infection across all the ponds, which is very bad. Now, this system is quite unique. And look at another system, this is the aeration. The aerator pump, if you have watched previously, the pump that I'm, I've been using is quite different from this one. Look at how this one is. Yes, you see this container, you see this? Uh -huh. The pile that, the type that I've been using are quite different uh -huh, from this. But this is where well, well, I can very perfectly. Now it's in the, on the ground, yeah. So, as you can see, the water is moving and this is the air tube that is pulling the oxygen from outside and be pushing. So you can see the water moving, it means that it's not stuck. So see this water is moving with erecting, with uh, agitation of bubbles, that's oxygen. And this is also falling, it's also adding oxygen. So now, in as much as you are filtering, you are also adding oxygen into the pond. And that's how the system is working and it is working perfectly. Before I proceed, you might be wondering how to set up this beautiful system. This system will allow you to use, run your farm without changing the water. This system will allow you to run the farm without changing the water. If you wonder how to do it yourself, I have a beautiful course DIY. This is a quality aquatic system and aeration system where you can enroll, learn it yourself at your own space and time and then you can implement that in your farm or you can equal contact us to do that for you if we are not far from each other so now this is the first pond and this is the second aerator that is where the second flotation is there the first and the big ones over there so let's see how it is so like i said we use the two inch pvc pipe as you can see so it's big enough and the flow would be smooth because usually if the flow is not that good it means that the flotation will not be effective yes previously i was using three quarter pvc pipe to this one and sometimes especially when you connect it if the pond is two inch or more or one inch and then you use it to three quarter usually the flow is not that effective but this one 
we are using that same system and the same pvc pipes and it's flowing very well into this container so this is the first filtration and it's the big one so this is where the first filtration will be done and then there's a, a mesh or filters under this container so it will filter then the good water will come out there to take it back using this hose usually what well, usually usually connected to the pond very close so the hose will be just a short one but this one it is far away like i said you want to be moving it across the other ponds so the hose are longer and then we have connected to over there and it's working effectively so this is uh the way of minimizing cost instead of putting the flotation each one having its own that is costly because to be frank with you this is costly we're buying the things together the submersible pumps and everything by the time you finish it's going to cost you some money but even if you are doing it your own it will be better that's why there's the need for you to enroll in the diy course where you learn it yourself and implement why well, apart from that this system is very fine so when you are doing your daily cleanup then the place would not be smelling and it's working effectively so this is the risk record aquatic system in its simplest form and this is how it works so if you're wondering how i have other videos you can check out but uh, don't forget to enroll in the course learn it yourself and you can implement it and the good is that you will learn and implement and improve on there are certain things that when i also went to learn i didn't learn them but as i'm in the 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 the, the, the industry i am learning watching others learning more from others taking ideas from others and then like this beautiful farm when i went there they gave me added me some ideas and when i put everything together it works perfectly and it is working so when you enroll and you learn you can keep improving and your fish will be healthy if i show you the other ponds how the fish are behaving and the other ponds the pond that is having the flotation how they are behaving you will see that they are enjoying so this pond like this uh they, it's not having any filter working meanwhile the water are changed on the same day you can see the fish are die you see they're not that effective they are not that active and this there's also fish there are fish here do you see them they are just all uh -huh. so but uh see here and then you see how it is working yes the sun is coming out and now they are trying to go under but they will be uh, they are always around the system working jumping here and there and they are swimming nicely this also makes the fish to grow bigger that's the fact because the fact is that as they produce their own feces and they are living in that their own feces they are not healthy they don't grow faster and when you also stock them much they produce more waste and that all are problematic but with this system you can even stock more and because you are filtering and you are removing their waste it will be okay and they will be growing so with this system you can even stock more fish than if you are not having this system so uh i don't want to make the video too long all i want to say is that get disconnected either by contacting us or enroll in our course and learn it yourself and you will enjoy your fish farming and i will be appreciated if you learn through me and we have a community where you can all reach out if you have more questions and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't done so and share the video and let's reach more fish farmers all we do in the channel to share fish farmers is based on our experience and research with the purpose of growing our seafood in other words our fish together thank you and goodbye i will see you in my next video